Hey there, we're back. Um, the truth bomb for today is sometimes you have to believe it to see it, which goes perfectly with the Ula oil faith. Uh, faith is an Ula blend, uh, O-O-L-A, and we'll talk about it, but I just thought it was interesting that the truth bomb matched the oil that I was planning to talk about. Sometimes you have to believe it to see it, which means you need a little faith. And the little sculpture there is the release sculpture because sometimes you have to release things in order to receive things. And the little bird that it's holding, he or she, is in the heart space and is removable so that you can release whatever's keeping you from having faith. Hi again. I had to come inside because I need the laptop to talk to you about the Ula blends because they're not in good morning. Whoops. Sorry. Sorry. I mean to throw you around and make you feel all weird and stuff. Um, the Ula blends are not in my reference book. Hi. I'm going to order the reference guide. This is the reference guide I use. I'm going to order the one for 2016 as soon as some more sweet Ula shows up. And um, I'm hoping that the Ula blends are in there because they're not right now. And maybe they won't be, but I still need to update this book. This one's old and I like the hardcover. The spiral's a little bit floppy and hard to use. So anyway, I came inside to use my laptop. Let's talk about faith. It smells fantastic. Um, it's faith in anything. Faith in yourself, faith in your spiritual practice, um, faith in your abilities, which we don't often have in the beginning when we're exploring our abilities. It's faith that we have ex abilities to explore, that we can even achieve the things. I love it. I really do love it a lot. Um, I lost my bottle of finance, which is very upsetting to me and also very ironic since I do struggle in that area. And it's out of stock, so I can't even replace it. So... I was over there mourning the loss and in the F section faith was this morning. So maybe I need to have faith that I don't need a bottle of finance to achieve some growth in that area. But it smells very nice. It smells citrusy and fresh and clean um, and pure. All the things that we would consider when we think about faith. It also smells like, a, like there might be a little pine, but we're going to read about it. We're going to talk about faith because we got to have faith, faith, faith. So many songs about faith, right? It's a difficult concept sometimes. Sometimes when we don't have faith in ourselves, we have to borrow other people's faith in us. I've been the benefit of other people's faith in me more than once when I couldn't believe in myself. I relied on other people believing in me so I could lean on that. And I think that's really important. So let's talk about Ula Faith. The Ula guys are two doctors who work in partnership with Young Living. So they develop the blends and Young Living does the production. And it's sold as a Young Living product. It's not available on the Ula guys website, which is ulalife.com. O-O-L-A life.com. If you want to read more about them. They've got... Um, their blends are particularly powerful. All the Young Living blends are powerful, but something in the Ula blends are kind of um, a little bit more knock your socks off powerful. Like I'm careful when I use Ula Grow. I use it in my advanced, my level two desire map group because the Ula Grow will make you grow. <laughs> it real kick you in the pants and have your stories come up. So, um, Ula is kind of like a word for a mojo as I understand it. It's Dr. Dave and Dr. Troy, and they are experts in work-life balance. They're also here on Periscope. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, they have seven. The, the blend is, uh, the infused life, um, let me pull it up. The infused set is around 200 retail, which is nothing in comparison. That's like a therapy session and a half 
or a coaching set. My coaching sessions are a hundred dollars. So it's like two coaching sessions and you can have all the, se all the seven oils and it has faith, fitness, finance, friends, family, field, and fun. Field is like career stuff. And I've used, I'm using faith. I had finance, but my goal is to have the whole, um, the whole collection because they're really powerful. They come with an affirmation. They're um, designed to influence your whole life in that area. Yeah, it's one ninety nine seventy five, and then if you buy the oil separately, this particular one is fifty three seventy five. Yeah, grow and balance are separate. Um, the wholesale price on this bottle is fifty three seventy five. And wait till you hear what's in it, because then you'll understand why it's uh, making an investment in your personal development. I think we cheap out on our personal development way too often. Like, we'll go to dinner and a movie, which is going to cost us 75 bucks, and we won't spend 50 bucks on a bottle of oil that might help us create more income to be able to go to more dinners and movies. <laughs> We kind of um, cut corners in that area sometimes, which is like the area we should least be stingy in. So this is designed, this particular one is formulated to help you feel grateful. Yeah, we think we're not good enough. So it's ironic when you start looking at where you do spend your money, you can get a nice clear picture of how much you um, are devoted to your, um, this is Ula Faith we're talking about today. You can get an idea of how much you're investing in yourself as to where you spend your money. I know someone who will not spend money on therapy or a workshop for herself, and she desperately needs it, but she'll spend $200 every six weeks on her hair and 25 or 30 bucks, whatever it costs to have your fake nails done every week. So you can get a sense of your own priorities when you look at where your time and your attention and your money is going. You'll you'll know if your money is where your mouth is. The essential this one has okay, so it's formulated to help you feel grateful, humble, and secure in your place in the world. If you which what we talked about this morning on my earlier scope with mastery of love. If you feel secure in your skills, if you feel secure that you have the right to take up space in the world and to express your gifts in the world, then you have faith. That's faith in action is secure, the secure feeling that I have a right to be here. I have a right to share my gifts and however people receive them is not my business. Um, I have a right to live and speak and do what I want to do. It is a confidence boosting. Yes. Why Angelica is one of my favorites. Hi, Tina. Uh, hi, and Lisa. Why Angelica is one of my favorites. And Stress Away is a classic. Um, Why Angelica is a gorgeous oil. This faith boosts confidence. It enhances spiritual influences, promotes deeper meditation, and a greater sense of spiritual awareness and connectedness so we're always connected to spirit we can't be separate from it we just perceive a separation and this oil is designed to dissolve that separation so we have a greater sense of ourselves as an expression of the larger whole the all that is so the sun is the the big deal and the rays of sunlight is us and this helps us Bring into our conscious mind that we are more than this physical body. Each of these oils comes with an affirmation suited to the oil. And this one's affirmation is, I am grateful, humble, and fully connected. And it, again, it's part of a kit of seven. Each one comes with their own affirmation and color. This one's yellow. Solar plexus chakra, I'm guessing. But let's read a little more about it. Actually, let me look here. The oil blend in here is incredible. So this is for third eye chakra. 
It opens our third eye, intuition, and connection to our divine source. Its use is for meditation, yoga, prayer, um, your spiritual work, worship, your spiritual practice, and other forms of divine solitude. The aromatic effect on the mind is calming and centering. So again, it's in initiating a feeling of security. They come with it. You can find them on the Young Living website. You can just Google Ula, O-O-L-A, Young Living, and you'll get to the website, which will show you all of them. So each description has the affirmation with it. Um, the spiritual and emotional influence of this oil, it inspires us to find the trust within ourselves by trusting our own intuition, our own inner GPS, <laughs> and our creator. As we trust more in ourselves, we are open to receiving support from the divine. It doesn't. You, I don't know why they're not in the books, Lisa. They're not in the Higley book either. Yeah, they have bracelets that you can get um, from their website. I don't know if you can you get them on the Young Living website, the affirmation bracelets. They're those little rubber bla bracelets that have the affirma affirmation stamped in them. Uh, but yeah, so the website I'm using for you guys today, in case you want to go look, is um, experience hyphen essential hyphen oils dot com. That's where I get a lot of my information from. Yeah, I'm the Ula store, so ulalife dot com, and then go to their tab that has store, and you can find the bracelets that match the oils. So experience hyphen essential hyphen oils dot com is where I get a lot of my more detailed information about the oils that are not in the book. So it says it's for the third eye chakra, but it also opens heart, heart, throat, third eye, and crown chakra. You put it directly on, you diffuse it, you can just smell it, you can apply it to those chakra points. Um, you can use it with animals, children. Uh, it's a very mild oil. Faith. This is Young Living Faith. You're not interrupting, Tina. It's okay. So let me tell you what's in this one and you'll understand why it's such a powerhouse. The very first oil in it is sacred frankincense. Kind of appropriate for Easter because that was like one of the ones thought to be, have been given to Jesus as a baby. I love the faith one. I love the smell. Yeah. So there's two, there's frankincense and myrrh. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. So sacred frank, frank, sacred frankincense essential oil is hard to get. It's extremely concentrated. It's powerfully expensive because it's powerfully powerful. I use it in meditation. I put it on my third eye chakra. Um, I also use it on my skin if I have like little sunspots and then I've put it on my heart for meditation with the intention that my awareness of my connection to the divine gets stronger to, to have that more in my conscious mind on a daily basis is one of my target areas. So sacred frankincense is high in sesquiterpenes, sesquiterpenes. It's high in some stuff which stimulates and oxygenates the limbic system of the brain, which is where our emotions are, and helps elevate our mood and relax and overcome stress. Yes, release. Oh, I love Frank and Frank. You are a walking oil bottle. It's so funny. It's a big word. It's a $2 word. <laughs> I can't remember who used to call them $2 words, but that's funny. It's a really powerful oil, and it's the first one in it, so it's pretty stout stuff. This is That oil is thought to be the original oil given to the baby Jesus. Happy Easter. <laughs> the next oil is... Oh, they do. They smell really strong. Frankincense smells really strong. My husband doesn't like to smell it all, so I tend to wear it when... I tend to just smell it. Partly, it's super expensive, so I just smell it a lot. I don't always put it on because I want to save it. I'm hoarding a little bit. Yeah, you can put it on at night on your feet, on your reflexology points, or Young Living calls them Vitaflex points. Oops, I almost dropped it. 
So the next oil is balsam fir, traditionally used for muscle aches and pains. The warm aroma of balsam fir soothes and rejuvenates body and mind. It's helpful for respiratory support. The next one is myrrh, M-Y-R-R-H, again another biblical oil. It has a very powerful antioxidant, making it protective for your skin. Juniper oil is next. It may work as a detoxifier and cleanser, beneficial to the skin, supportive for the urinary system. It's a natural cleanser and detoxifier. That's where that piney, kind of cedary um, forest smells coming from. It smells really good. Hyssop is the next one. It supports a healthy immune system, is noted for purifying properties. Um, the purif When you start reaching for these concepts, you do go through a purification process. All the things between you and having faith have to come up and out uh, and be processed so that you clear that connection. Otherwise, if, if you could, if there wasn't stuff in the way of feeling secure in your abilities, you'd already feel that. So if you're reaching for an oil to help you in that area, that lets you know that there's stuff between it and you. And the oils help bring that stuff up and soothe the process of releasing it. Um, processing it and releasing it. The next one is cedar wood. Cedar wood is an earthy aroma that gives you a sense of security. It's calming, purifying, and grounding. Sage is next. Sage, we know, is a purifier too. We, that's why we burn sage for purification. Sage essential oil may help to uplift and aid with mental fatigue. It has been recognized for its ability to strengthen the senses and vital centers of the body and to support metabolism. So I'm thinking what they mean by that is the chakra systems or chakras, whichever you, however you want to pronounce it is fine. Um, chakra, chakra, your energy centers of the body, it helps to strengthen those and purify them. The next oil is Hinoki, which is energizing and uplifting to the mind. Maybe so. Yeah, there's that theory out there. It, could, it definitely could be true. Hinoki opens the mind to potential and specifically to opportunities. So if we're down in the dumps and we don't have faith in ourselves, we miss opportunities. Or we get opportunities presented to us and we're like, mm, I don't think I can do it. We don't have the confidence, so we blow it off. And we pass up opportunities that otherwise could help further us in our lives. Hi, Amy. The next oil is the super fantastic, wonderful, magical rose oil, Rosa Damascina. It has an intoxicating aroma. Rose has an intoxicating aroma. Rose is in joy. I think Rose is in White Angelica too. Hi. <laughs> um, it's very sweet. It's very intoxicating. It's extremely high vibration. Some people say that rose is, yes, it's worth saving up for. It is pricey, but one bottle will last you forever because all you have to do is smell it. And in fact, sometimes I don't even take the cap off and you can smell it through the cap and it's enough. It's powerful stuff. So it has rose in it. Rose is considered to be the oil of saints and angels too. Um, extremely high vibration. Some people say when they've been visited by people who've died, they smell roses or the, when they feel like they've had a, yeah, a visitation from saints. They say they smell oil, uh, roses sometimes. Yeah, it's a powerhouse. Um, the, all the Ula oils are really powerhouses. And the faith oil is one that I've been using to increase confidence. I mean, putting yourself out on Periscope is terrifying. So I was using this last year a lot to have faith that I could overcome um, the uh, awkwardness of scoping and figuring out the technology and, you know, getting off and crying because I was like so horrified by how horrible it went, in my opinion. That was then. That, that's not what happens now. <laughs> but I did use this last year. So the next oil is geranium. Help, it's relaxing and supportive. Used traditionally for the circulatory nervous system. A great deal of its strength lies in the ability to revitalize the body. Pal Palo Santo is next. Spiritual essential oil. It's in the frankincense family. Oh, is it? That's cool. I never thought of having a spirit oil. Um, 
Palisanto is used, is called holy wood. It's used in spiritual ceremonies. It's used for spirituality. It was used by the Incas to purify and cleanse the spirit from negative energy. So another super powerful one. Coriander's next. It's been used since ancient Egypt. It's one of those oils that we have documentation. I know I never heard of that either. Amy, how did you find a spirit oil? Or is that something that you just love so much? I haven't had Palo Santo, but I was looking at ordering it. I would like to try it. So coriander's ancient. It may support healthy digestion, circulatory system, and it has been studied for the support. It may offer a healthy pancreas, so support for uh, the pancreas. You just make shit up, dog. She just made that shit up. <laughs> you, you, I would, if I had to pick a spirit all for myself, it would definitely be Rose. That's so funny. Bergamot's next. It's calming, relaxing, has a long history of use for the skin. Yeah, I've heard other people doing that and that it smells like a campfire. Clear and turn negative energy into positive energy. Bergamot's delicious. Um, Earl Grey tea is where you find bergamot. They used to make a cigarette that had bergamot in it, and it smelled disgusting because cigarettes smell disgusting. But at the time, I was a smoker, and I tried this. I can't remember the name of it, but um, a friend of mine smoked them, and it had bergamot oil in the tobacco. Yeah. Anyway, the, it, the essential oil is powerful. It's a citrus smell, so it's going to be uplifting. Sage smells like weed. Yeah, can't burn in your apartment. A cop lives upstairs. Sage does smell just like burning pot. It really does. Um, lemon is next. Another citrus one. Purifying, cleansing. It takes 75 lemons to create one 15 milliliter bottle of the lemon oil. This is the 15 milliliter size just for reference. 75 lemons go in a bottle of lemon oil. This is clary sage, but um, this is the 5 milliliter bottle. Next is Lang Lang or Ylang Ylang, however you want to say it. Uh, Kananga Odorata. It has a long history in skin and hair products, particularly in Asia. You can go work on the Lang Lang farm that Young Living owns, where the oil comes from. You can go work and Pick the flowers, which are all picked by hand. Use lemon, like, and yeah, and grapefruit oil. I use grapefruit oil every day in my water bottle. Always use your citrus oils and your oils in a glass jar because it will eat up styrofoam and plastic. Lime. Okay, yeah, lime, lemon, uh, tangerine, grapefruit. I use grapefruit because it helps with water retention. Um, it's a, it has a mild diuretic property, so I use it for that. But you can go to any of the Young Living Farms, actually. But a friend of mine, um, actually the person I signed up under, Kelly Block, she went and worked on the Lang Lang Farm last year and hand-picked the blossoms. They're beautiful. Oh, orange. Yes, orange, too. And Citrus Fresh is a blend of three citrus oils plus spearmint that you can use in water. Yeah, you can mix your oils in coconut oil for face moisturizer. You can make up little potions in a jar. In a mix for meditation. Yeah. You you can get all addicted and you can use essential oils in every area of your life. If you're on my Facebook page, I do have a really funny video up there making fun of essential oils, which is fun. We have to be able to laugh at ourselves. Um, and that guy's hilarious. He has this whole thing about making fun of essential oils. But we know that they work. The next one is Jasmine. Totally addicted. Yeah, they totally work. They've changed my life. And I was a total skeptic, and I still am skeptical when a new blend comes out. I test it out and see what I think. I order, try to order a bottle and feel the energy for myself because I do. I am still skeptical. Jasmine is next, so you can see why this smells so good, right? It has uh, fur and rose and bergamot and lemon and lang lang and jasmine. I mean, it smells amazing. You can wear it as a perfume. Jasmine has a wonderful aroma. If you've ever had jasmine tea um, or jasmine rice, it also has. It's also beneficial for the skin. It's been used throughout history for romance, attraction, and for balancing the feminine energy of the bottle. Oh yeah, you don't want to do that. 
You don't want to take on other people's pain. If you are secure, and i um, not saying that you're insecure, but if you're totally connected to the larger, the all that is, uh, it will make it impossible to pick up other people's stuff because you're such a pure conduit for the energy coming through you and out to that person for them to use that you can't pull it back in. You can't pull their stuff back in because you're, you're broadcasting out. Roman chamomile is next. Oh, so the jasmine is for balancing feminine. Yes. Good, good idea. Roman chamomile, we know from talking about Roman chamomile before that it helps with anger and the fiery emotions. It's calming and soothing. It's soothing to the soul. It's soothing to the emotions. Um, you can add it to massage oil for muscle discomfort. It creates inner peace. It resonates well with adults, children, and animals. It's extremely mild. Um, you can diffuse it. You can wear it. it. I like the blends that have the chamomiles in them because the chamomiles, Roman chamomile and German chamomile, are pretty strong smelling on their own. As an example, the full-size diffuser, I think, holds a cup of water. I put one drop of German chamomile in it, and that's plenty. Plus, that oil is expensive, so I try and stretch it out, too. And the last one is lemongrass essential oil, which it doesn't say much about lemongrass. Oh, uh, may support healthy joints and fitness goals. Lemongrass is, um, it smell. if you've ever had Vietnamese food, you've probably eaten lemongrass. It smells lemony, but mild. Yeah, you can put it in tea. It's good for the immune system, my understanding. Traditional Chinese medicine uses lemongrass and has for thousands of years. It's stimulating and it's another purification oil. Um, I use lemongrass on steak. When We don't eat steak very often, but when I do, I run lemongrass through a spice grinder and use that powder on steak along with pepper and butter and stuff. If you're not a steak eater, you can use it on um, chicken. You can also use it on tofu. Experience-essential-oils.com Yes, and I and when we're talking, I'm only using t Young Living oils. I don't recommend the others because I haven't researched them. Um, I know that Young Living has farms. Yes, just like that. Experience hyphen essential hyphen oils dot com. Let me see if I can get you over there to the laptop. Whoop. Oh my gosh, I don't think I can. I can't twist it around. Experience-essential-oils.com Detoxification. Yes, just like that. Thank you, Lisa. Experience-essential-oils.com with hyphens. She has a ton of information on that website. It's been my go-to website the whole time I've been actively using oils. You're icing a lamb cake. Delicious. Seeing Michelle's thing reminded me that on the 31st, March 31st, I'll be having a giveaway. I don't know what I'm giving away yet, but it'll be some kind of oil or a coaching session or an art print. So March 31st, my regular daily scopes are in the morning, usually around 9.30 or 10 Eastern. Sometimes they're a little earlier or later, but I shoot for between 9.30 and 10, and I'm going to have a giveaway that day. So if you show up, you might get an oil. You might get a choice a chance to pick an oil and this blend comes with a carrier oil already in it you don't need to dilute it it's totally mild you can put it right on your skin you can stick it right up your nose if you want to I don't recommend that it's gross but um, oh family lunch and a negative sibling so you need both your stress away and white angelica huh <laughs> the carrier oil is a mix of coconut oil and glycerin so you'll hear that describe, uh, written, you'll see it written as caprylic or capric triglyceride. And all that means is it is coconut oil with glycerin in it already. So don't dilute it. It's already got a carrier oil. So opens the third eye, strengthens intuition, connection to divine source. Use it for yoga, prayer, meditation, going to church if that's your thing, doing Bible study if that's what you do. Um, name of 
which the the oil faith faith oil blend um calming centering is that what you meant let me make sure i got your question answer oh the oil i'm giving away oh no no we're still talking about this one same oil the spiritual and emotional influence of this faith blend inspires us to find trust within ourselves, helps us release negative belief systems which stop us from trusting our gut and keep us, it stops us from keeping ourselves in self-doubt and distrust. So if you spend a lot of time doubting yourself, if you spend a lot of time feeling victimized by the universe and you don't have any faith in your abilities, this is the oil for you. It's not... It's spiritual faith, but it's working on faith as a global concept, like security, helping you find faith that you can feel secure and confident. You need it ASAP. Well, it's in stock right now. It, or if you're on Essential Rewards, you could put it on your Essential Rewards order because it's just over $50. That would take care of your month. Um... Okay. Diffuse during your spiritual practice. Uh, you could use it while you're journaling. You can say that affirmation morning and night. The affirmation that comes with it. Believe is out of stock, so try faith. Perfect. Yeah. I think faith... For you, Bernice, with what you're doing in your life, it's probably a better option than believe right now anyway. And I sent you... I can't even remember. Yeah. So, the affirmation is, I am grateful, humble, and fully connected. I am grateful, humble, and fully connected. And you can say that twice a day. The thing with affirmations that I don't like is... Trans, trauma, no, I haven't, I haven't used that one, um, but I've heard good things about it. Trauma or trauma life. When you use an affirmation, all the things that you don't believe are true will come up. All the reasons you don't believe that affirmation is true for you will come up and you have to deal with them. That's okay. We, we're we used to that. We're used to autocorrect disasters. and <laughs> It's totally fine, Lisa. I am grateful, humble, and fully connected. Uh, probably if you're using this oil, you don't believe that. That's the point. So you have to deal with the reasons that you don't feel grateful. You have to deal with the feelings of being victimized by life. You have to deal with why you don't feel connected to the world or to other people, or to the divine, all that is, whatever you call it, the great whatever. Um, all those reasons that you doubt yourself, and maybe so, all the reasons you doubt yourself and don't believe in yourself and don't think you have what it takes to achieve your dreams, all that stuff will get triggered by using this blend. I think it's safe to say that. Because if you're using that information, I've seen this happen again and again, when I've used an oil to develop a personal attribute or a character characteristic, all the reasons I don't feel that come up for me to deal with. So, yeah. Use it. Become aware of the issues, release the issues, and move forward. If you practice yoga, yoga does the same thing. It brings up blocks in the body, but it also triggers blocks in your emotions. And you can have emotions coming up if you're a regular yoga practitioner, which they don't tell you a lot of times. I think that's a real failing if you're getting yoga at the rec center. They often don't tell you that it's an emotional practice, too. So, um... Be aware, beware, be aware, beware that you're going to start becoming aware. <laughs> Let's talk in riddles. Um, but it's true. So I do try to give a disclaimer if I'm talking about an emotional spiritual oil that it will bring stuff up. And you are going to need to handle it. 
And if you need help doing that, you can let me know. Just wishing around the root chakra juice. <laughs> yeah. You can message me on Facebook or Twitter if you need a referral to a therapist. I don't do therapy, but I do do coaching. And you can find that on my website at caddyshackdesigns.com. Across the top is information about coaching and desire map workshops and all the other stuff I do in Reiki sessions, whatever. All that stuff's on the website if you need extra support. I'm also, though, willing to chat with you by email or whatever if you just need a quick if you have a quick question or you want a little clarification or if you're like, hey, I started using that Ula Faith and now this is happening and I don't understand, then feel free to get in touch with me. I'll help you try and figure that out and find some clarity. So just real quick to wrap up, let me just wing through those oils again. Oils can bring up tears, tears release emotions, you get your cleansing. Yeah, as you're cleansing your body, your emotions will need the same thing. If you're doing a body detox, a physical detox, your emotions are going to get triggered too. I don't know why we aren't telling people that more clearly. So sacred frankincense, balsam fir, myrrh, juniper, hyssop, cedarwood, sage, hinoki, Rose, oh gosh, yeah. Geranium, Palo Santo, Coriander, Bergamot, Lemon, Lang Lang, Jasmine, Roman Chamomile, Lemongrass, and Coconut Oil. Ta da! That's like five gazillion oils in one teeny tiny bottle. So if you're going to invest in this and it's $53 wholesale, um, these kinds of oils, I don't I really don't always wear I want to make them last I want I carry them in my purse if I'm working a concept I carry it in my purse and I either just smell the bottle or smell the just smell it a lot yeah and one drop will go all day and if you have like an oil diffuser bracelet these are lava beads so they're porous yeah you can put one little drop on a lava stone if you're if you're wearing that kind of jewelry and that'll last all day yeah, I have bathed in stress away for sure. You could do that with this. Um, if I want the twins to get a particular oil, I'll wear it on a bracelet. So a lot of times when I'm visiting my twin granddaughters or babysitting, I put one drop of rose and one drop of white angelica on it so that the girls get that smell all day long. We used actually white angelica and rose with Ashlyn, um, who's she had torticollis, which her head was tilted. A lot of these are awesome. Oh, yeah. Yep. My mom makes them. The Blue Bobcat on here, Lenora Carter. And also uh, Lin Linda. Her handle is Lindita Hazel. She makes them. These black stones. Let me see if I can get it where it'll focus. They, no, they're made out of lava stone. They're made out of like pumice rock, lava rock. So there's little holes in them. Uh, you can get a hold of my mom through Facebook or she scopes on Wednesdays. She in uh, if you can friend her on Facebook. Let me see what it is. Uh, what is her? It's mine is facebook.com forward slash L Michelle Wolf two L's and two F's. Let me see what my mom's is. And all the jewelry uh, has, um, if it's a custom order, it's made in meditation specifically for you and whatever you're dealing with at the time. Uh, if you go to Facebook and type in Lenora Carter, L-Y-N-O-R-A-H Carter, it will come up. We need to change your Facebook extension, Mom. It still says Sally Kilpatrick. <laughs> and we might need to start maybe the Blue Bobcat or something. We'll figure it out. Anyway, you can find her there. And then Linda's website is, or her page is Divinita Designs, D-I-V-I-N-T-A Designs on Facebook. Any questions? That's a lot of information. The Ula oils are powerhouses, and they're packed with expensive oils. 
uh, expensive because they're rare and expensive because they're powerful and you are worth it. You're worth that investment. Oh, you're welcome. I'm happy to share. I want everyone to use oils. I don't care if you buy them from me. I would love it if you did, but you don't have to. I don't care where you get them. Just make sure you're getting a high quality therapeutic grade oil and that you research the company. Please don't buy your oils off Amazon. They're garbage. The risk of them being garbage is way too high to take that chance. Um, a lot of the oils at the health food stores have additives in them. Just do your own research. I'm not here to tell you which oil to buy. I'm just here to share with you my experiences and what each particular oil is reported to do. But test it out for yourself. Yeah, I would buy I buy from myself. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I think there's several Young Living people on here, but I also know that there's doTERRA people too, and I'm fine with that. I think doTERRA is a valid company. I just like Young Living better. That's all. Just personal preference and my own research. Do your own research. Don't take anybody's word for it. All right. Yes, I, I do. I, I feel comfortable saying that. I think... Um, of all the oils out there, Young Living is my first choice, but I'm not opposed to saying I think doTERRA has value as well. I think they're safe. Um, I think they do good work. Um, uh, I'm, I'm not here to bash anybody ever. So do your own research. Try out oils from different companies. See which ones resonate with you best. Yes. Definitely. And please don't buy essential oils from Walmart. Ew. Don't do it. It's gross. Definitely don't take those internally ever, ever, ever. So. Okay. That's all I have for you today. I'm going to go about my business. It's raining and wonderful here. Oh, God, no. Don't buy at Walmart. And, I'll, and yeah, a lot of the health food store blends are not. I just, just do your research. Try the oils out. You can feel, if you're sensitive at all, you can feel them. Uh, some little health food stores do, yeah. We have a little health food store here that sells doTERRA. The guy that owns it is a doTERRA rep. Um, some of the massage schools sell both Young Living and doTERRA. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Happy Easter. Uh, happy spring. Yeah, you don't want to pay retail prices if you can avoid it. Which does mean that you have to invest in a starter kit. But if oils are your thing and you think you're going to get into them and use them, it's well worth it. A, a premium starter kit is a therapy session and a half. One and a half. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. All right, guys, have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow around 9, 30 or 10. We'll be reading Big Magic tomorrow. Tomorrow is a twin day, so expect chaos. And <laughs> we'll see what we can do. Ooh, have fun making sugar scrubs. Sugar scrubs with oils are fun and great gifts and great self-care. Enjoy your day.